This is Full Metal, and today I will be reviewing the Beretta 96FS. To begin the review, I'm going to show you that the firearm is clear. The 96FS is chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson. It is a double to single action pistol. With factory magazines, your capacity will be 11 plus 1. If you choose to purchase magazines manufactured by Mekar, your capacity will be increased to 13 plus 1. The weight unloaded is 33.8 ounces, and the width of the slide is 1.5 inches. With the use of a snap cap, I'm going to demonstrate some of the safety features of the firearm. Now the 96FS has a, an ambidextrous lever that is both a safety and a decocker. When the lever is moved downward, the trigger is disengaged. As you can see when I pull the trigger, the hammer does not move. Also, when that lever is moved to the downward position, the hammer is decocked. As the hammer is being decocked, if a live round is in the chamber, the round will not be discharged. And this occurs because as the lever is rotated, the firing pin is rotated out of the way and is shielded from the hammer. Another safety feature is the automatic firing pin catch. And you can see that is the small block right up in front of the rear sight. And what that is, is it's basically a firing pin block. It's deactivated on the very last stage of the trigger pull. The firearm also has a hammer drop catch. And what the hammer drop catch is, is that if the hammer is basically accidentally fanned backward and it is released forward without the trigger being pulled, the hammer will be caught in a half cocked position. features include a three dot sight system and the rear sight can be drifted for windage and the magazine release button can be moved to the opposite side to accommodate left-handed shooters. One of the most notable features of the 96 FS is its open slide design and one thing that that can allow you to do is in an emergency situation it's very easy if you don't have a magazine you can take a single round place it in the chamber and take single shots with the pistol. One of the original features that I'm very displeased with is the original guide rod. Now, you won't be able to really see this on camera and maybe Maybe if you can hear the sound of me dropping this, maybe you'll be able to kind of hear that hollow brittleness to it. It's not like a, a quality polymer. And don't get me wrong, I don't, I don't have a problem with uh, polymer guide rods. But the type of polymer that this is made out of feels like, you know, it, it's not like a, a high quality polymer that's going to be resistant. It feels like just a cheap brittle plastic um, this is really disappointing especially out of something uh, manufactured by Beretta and it's I honestly if I was a manufacturer and I produced a product and placed this kind of component in it frankly I would be embarrassed so what you can do and what I did is I went out and purchased an aftermarket steel guide rod. Now on to accuracy. 
I have found this particular pistol to be capable of 3 inch groups at 20 yards. The trigger pull in double action mode is extremely smooth and it has a nice crisp break. What also adds to the accuracy is the weight of the firearm and the weight of the firearm helps mitigate the muzzle rise. I recommend the 96FS as a range gun or home protection. Now using it as a range gun if you shoot your cheaper steel cased ammo, do expect to jam every once in a while, but it really makes a great gun to take to the range. And as home protection, this is more suited for home protection than something like concealed carry. One, due to the weight unloaded, it's already 33 ounces. And the width. This thing is an inch and a half thick. Uh, it's extremely difficult to conceal, but as a home protection firearm, it'll serve you just fine. This wraps up my review for the Beretta 96FS. As always, be safe and thanks for watching.